All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So I have an absolute treat for you. As you can see, we're playing Walker Assault in Star Wars Battlefront. And this is the new Walker Assault map, one of the three new Walker Assault maps. This is Tatooine, or the Jundland Wastes. Um, now, you'll see a Jawa Sandcrawler right there. And in the in behind it, it looks like what could be Jabba's Palace. So the scenery is amazing. As we all know, the sound effects, the visuals of this game are amazing. Uh, right now, the only thing I get bothered by, truly, is um, you get stuck on the terrain a lot of times. There's certain parts and they just hang up, like the guys don't naturally walk over, or you know, like certain things just bottle you up, which, which are a little bit annoying, but overall, I am a huge fan of this game. So I do wanna say a couple things first is that I will be streaming, I'll be having a grand stream for this game on its release Tuesday. I'm going to start that at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless you guys think it would be better to maybe start at noon. Maybe I could do a noon till midnight 12 hour stream, 12 to 12 for 12 hours. Actually, screw it, we're doing that. We're doing noon to midnight Eastern Time for 12 hours. We'll do a 12 hour stream on Tuesday. And I know the times for that, we just decided it. So make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash baronvongames uh, and follow Twitter because I will also be streaming Monday in anticipation. Pew! Look at that, that's one of the new power-ups. This kind of, you can charge up that sniper rifle. So I know with the Tusken Raider sniper rifle, <laughs> look at this. Now this seemed pretty cool because the TIE Fighter was there, but it disappears unfortunately. It would be kind of cool um, but then again, you can see how crash vehicles can maybe block certain choke points and mess up the map. But it was kind of cool that it was in the ground there for a while. But, yeah, so Monday will also be streaming. I'm not sure the time on that yet. And if you want to kind of keep up with that, stay tuned for more Star Wars Battlefront videos. Because I'll be releasing at least one a day um, from basically now until the launch. Um, because I'm really hyped about this game. But... Yeah, so we will be streaming Monday, and I would imagine that would probably be an 8 to 10 hour stream. There's certain uh, health issues within the family right now, so I would normally stream this weekend, but I, I want to be with my family, and I also want to hit this release because it is a game I'm incredibly excited for. I used to read Star Wars books, uh, expanded universe kind of type stuff, expanded galaxy rather, um, and... Yeah, I got a little ADD right there with the hell stuff. But anyway, so yeah, streaming Tuesday, noon to midnight, 12 hour stream. 12 to 12 for 12 hours. Boom! Look at that. The wings stick out a little farther than you'd think with a TIE Fighter. Its hitbox is rather large. It is a giant box after all flying through the air. So that was my first time flying a TIE Fighter. Um, and it did not go very well. But yeah, so that being said, uh, let me know what time we should probably start, like, a 10-hour stream on Tuesday, or on Monday. But, the cool thing about this video is Boba Fett, and we'll be seeing him soon. But, Star Wars Battlefront, we got to see the Hoth Walker Assault, but now there's Tatooine, Hoth, Endor, and Celeste. So, Endor, Celeste, and Tatooine being the new ones. I did get to play all of them, and I do have footage on all of them. Um, I played Endor as a rebel and I actually was really really fortunate and I got to play as Han Solo and Leia um, and then I played let's see the last one was Celeste and I got Boba Fett again um, so and you'll see, after this gameplay you'll kind of see why I chose Boba Fett the sniper rifle that charges up the Tusken Raider one, like if you didn't hit the head, it's, it would only did 90%. Look at that right there. 30 meters away is destiny. And whenever I see one of those, I charge it blindly because if you get a hero, oh my gosh, this is the best thing. And the new part about it is, bam, hero selection. So you could be Darth Vader, Palpatine, or Boba Fett. However, I did play heroes versus villains earlier, and I do have footage on that as all of the heroes. So basically... Um, I'll be talking about all the different modes I played, and I want you guys in the comments to let me know which video I should do next, right? Um, I did Star, or I did like the Starfighter mode, 
and I played as an A-Wing and did pretty good as an A-Wing. Um, I did get better. Whenever I was a TIE Fighter, I often ran into things. I do have some TIE Fighter footage, but I know I have Walker Assault Map. I've got Heroes vs. Villains footage. I've got a lot of stuff, so let me know what you'd like to see next. So let's talk about Boba Fett. Now, one thing you might want to notice is even when I'm not using the boost, when I go, when I drop, not right there, but you'll see it a little bit, um, you have you have this cooldown effect, and as long as you're in the air, it uses part of your jetpack, your thrust booster right there. You'll also notice that my health does not tick down unless, unless I get hit. That is totally different from what we saw in the beta, where it basically acted like a timer, and if you got a kill, you'd get like one. So that's one of the, one of the moves he has, is that flamethrower, and it's really, really good when you get up close and personal. But I think of this guy as definitely like, kind of like a long range support. Even though he's got that flamethrower attack, it's, I use it more when people get up close and personal, like specifically heroes versus villains, when you get charged by um, Luke Skywalker. You know, like he's got a saber, you gotta, you gotta use your flamethrower really to kind of get some separation or make him feel like he is vulnerable. But look at, look how cinematic this is. I'm fighting next to a Jawa Sandcrawler. TIE Fighter flies overhead, ATSDs and ATATs behind me, X-Wings overhead, orbital strikes happening. So this, the other ability he has is the rocket, and it's kind of a fire and forget weapon. Um, I really, really like it, because it generally, like, you'll fire it in a general direction, and it, if there's a guy within a certain radius of it, it will kind of heat seek in on them for the last bit of time. And the jetpack really enables you to move around the terrain really easily. So look at that, you see how the rocket kind of curved downwards. He was running towards me and where I fired the rocket was a little different. So it heat seeks to a, it heat seeks to a slight degree. Um, it's not perfect, you can't just fire it randomly. See like that, and then hit. It's gotta be in the general vicinity. And the other thing about Boba Fett is he uses an EE3 carbine and a carbine rifle and the thing about that is it's not fully automatic so you can't just hold down the trigger like you can with a lot of other uh guns in star wars battlefront it is by pull of the trigger but it kind of fires a two round burst i've noticed so generally in two hits i think within two to three hits you kill look at that the rocket is just so great so it seems like on hits, it's about two hits, so basically four laser bursts, but two pulls of the trigger, you'll kill enemy uh, foot soldiers. Um, so that being said, all the heroes have three abilities. I can cover any of the heroes that you want to next. I want to know which one you think you'd like to see next, or which one you know you'd like to see next, because for me personally, Boba Fett was my favorite hero. I read a lot of books on him and about his feats in the expanded universe um and obviously that's not canon anymore for star wars but i've heard rumor that they're going to make a movie on boba fett there and then i've heard rumor that they're also going to do a movie on han solo and then there's the trilogy the new trilogy that they're going to do um the force awakens is the first one in that trilogy yeah i thought that was an enemy <laughs> But anytime someone throws a thermal, thermal detonator, you know you gotta run. And by the way, if you thought Boba Fett died, um, at least, I'm not sure if it's canon anymore, but supposedly Boba Fett got out of the Sarlacc pit by using a thermal detonator. So, kind of cool little tidbit for you there. Now you'll notice I did see someone. Look at this, this is the only guy on the enemy team with a jetpack. So, while Boba Fett is going absolutely ham sandwich, um, what would, what would the Star Wars equivalent be of going ham sandwich? You know what I mean? I don't really know. But, um, but he's doing it. And I just, I just really think Boba Fett's badass. But yeah, if, if more enemies had, uh, jetpacks, it's kind of a later tier, uh, upgrade. That, look at that shadow. If you, if you're about to run out and you see that shadow, you know to step back inside, mother truckers. But, um... If more of the enemy had jetpacks, I would have had less uh, fringe map control than I did. But you can see like a lot of walkers, or like the Hoth Walker Assault map that you're probably already familiar with. Look at this flamethrower. Get wrecked. Perfect timing. And then, oh, enemy at distance. Here's a rocket. 
And then you've got your EE3 carbine for whenever they get in close or you want to shoot from distance, man. It's pretty good. He's a very, very versatile hero because he has uh, basically three different weapon systems. Wrecked. Oh, guy's close. Time to jetpack away. But the map is pretty cool. Um, lots of, you know, underground uh, caves, bunkers, caverns, stuff like that. You can see uh, sand troopers yeah, at the very beginning. I thought it was cool to see the sand troopers have that orange patch over their shoulder to indicate, you know, so when you're fighting Hoth, they're snow troopers. And when you're fighting on Tatooine, they're sand troopers. So, but look at this. Look at the map. There's these giant bunkers. You can see a medium class uh, transport right there with the kind of uh, Mon Calamari style like engine design at least. You know where it's like, what are they, mass cells? Or, would that be the terminology? But dude, at distance, this rocket is invaluable. It is so good. And that almost looked like Leia Organa for a second. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's, it felt like, it looked like it from distance. I don't know if it was, but you'll see in the kill feed that um, whenever someone charge, uh, basically gets a hero it'll happen you'll you'll well, it'll, of course it'll happen you'll be able to see it via text that someone you know started as a hero and which hero they started as so you can kind of prepare yourself and if it's Boba Fett and it's me Baron Von Boba Fett you can prepare your butts because shit's going down but look at these AT-ATs walking through it and then the uh, Jawa sand crawler in the back there are Jawas um, and you'll be happy to know that there are Ewoks on Endor. And apparently there is a an unlock, you know, basically an accomplishment if you get killed by an Ewok because they throw rocks. And I don't think they're very good, but if you do get killed by an Ewok, you know, it's like a Steam achievement. Um, if you're playing on PC or like Xbox and PS4, obviously it's a little different. So I wasn't able to get an ATST or ATAT at the beginning of this map. But man, I tell you what, Boba Fett, firing from where people don't expect. Look at that, there's the guy with the jetpack again. And he met my rocket. He's like, I'm gonna kill Boba Fett. Nope. Boba Fett can't die. Oh god. Pew, 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 pew. So, taking enemy fire, but yeah. So apparently there's 12 total maps. Um, and then there's gonna be two new free ones with the Battle of Jakku DLC, which will be free DLC, which I think is kinda cool. However, if you pre-order, you get access to it December 1st, and if you don't, it's free for everybody December 8th. So keep that in mind if you want the Battle of Jakku DLC. Um, yeah, so... I just really wanted to show you how epic Boba Fett is because he was the hero I was most curious about. Um, I actually find it kind of interesting that, like, my favorite heroes, my favorite hero on the Empire is Boba Fett, and my favorite hero hero to play for the Rebels is actually I'm torn, and it kind of is dependent but it's between Leia Organa and Han Solo. For some reason, I tend to shy away from lightsaber-wielding heroes. I, it's because I don't, I don't think, I, I think it requires, um, you need to become very familiar with those characters to use them to their maximum potential. Boba Fett, his style just works with how I play games. You know, play a little bit of poaching, come at people from where they least expect it, Use great mobility <laughs> and pretty versatile firepower. You know, like, um, that was one of the best parts I got in the beta was the jetpack. And see, this is one thing. I don't know if I locked onto it or if I just unlocked to it, but I did not have very good luck using rockets against these, uh, against the snow speeders. Because even though they're snow speeders and we're on Tatooine, it's Walker Salt, so you know there's going to be those speeders there. Um, speaking of speeders, the 74Z speeder bikes are present on Endor, and I did get to, uh, I did get to, uh, what you say, drive or fly those. But one thing to keep in mind is you gotta watch out for the trees on Endor, man. And, uh, everyone who tried them, at one point or another, <laughs> ended up blowing themselves up by running into trees. Just like that poor, that poor, uh, scout trooper did on Endor in... 
Re uh, Return of the Jedi. I almost said <laughs> Revenge of the Jedi. Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi combined. But, yeah. So, keep in mind, once again, I will be streaming Tuesday the 17th. 12 to 12 for 12 hours, Eastern Time. Um, we're gonna make that a thing. It's gonna be a grand, grand uh, stream for me. I'm very, very excited. I want to have this big, big launch party. And um, let's see. I might, I might start earlier, but I like the 12 to 12 for 12. That seems kind of cool. But I'll probably stream longer than that. Now that I think about it. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. So. Like, all the heroes got have three abilities. And the new ones, obviously, we have four new playable ones. Look at this. This is a pretty pretty sweet little spot, but here's where, like, I should be able to climb to the top of that. But it's like, I don't know, I guess they didn't really plan for people with jetpacks to get up there. But they've been hurrying. Yeah, see, like, right here, it's really wonky. It's really wonky. So I pretty much just jetpack, fire, up, fire and forget on the rocket, and bam. Get your kills. So the Y wings are incoming. Um, and look at this. We've got two walkers up at this point. One with like 60% health, and one that's getting steadily taken out. But it looks like the enemy are spawning from there, and someone sniped me from 42 to 7 health. And that was a game changer for me. So yeah, we'll be streaming Monday. We'll be streaming Tuesday. I'll have videos out every day. I want to know what you want to see next. Do you want to see heroes versus villains? Do you want to see one of the other Star Wars, or excuse me, one of the other Walker assaults? The other Walker assaults are Endor, where I played as the Rebels, and I got to be. Look at that! Oh, I should have, I should have realized that. But I, even Boba Fett going 60 and three can't win, <laughs> win the battle himself. Um, that was one of my grandest performances. I played for about like five or six hours uh, today. Baron Von Games, most uplinks defended and kills, but the highest objective score was somebody else. But I got the highest overall score on the defeated team, but that's just what happens when you use a hero's abilities to the max. So let me know what you'd like to see next. Make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash Baron Von Games, because we're going to be doing a big Monday and Tuesday streams. I might stream uh, Friday night as well. So tonight, I might be streaming tonight. Stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching.